Good evening, everybody. Pour yourself a drink. Get ready for manager stream.
This Asahi is not bad for being the one that I forgotten in the freezer when I was trying to flash chill it and it came out as an Asahi sickle. What's everyone else having? But thank you all for coming here tonight and thank you to everyone that will be watching this later. It's been a week. I thought I thought Flavor was really hooking me up when they signed me on with this Flavor Invader program. Thought I was going to be a big shot idol. Turns out I signed a management contract. So now I'm wrangling the actual talent. But managed to escape the office for a little bit. But my work is never done. As you may have noticed, we've had, had the company account get hacked. We've had scuffed internet streams ending and starting again. So tonight we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to find Susan and bring her to justice. Welcome, Apple Juice Gang Gang and Water Gang. So, like any completely legit and professional company, I have been provided with the latest and greatest antivirus software that money can buy. Let's fire it up here. Spy bot the Nightfall Incident, a fine piece of antivirus software from the glorious year of 2002. Only the best to Kuriko. And of all people, this antivirus software comes to us courtesy of Lego, who went way harder than they ever needed to in developing a tie-in software for one of their Technic lines. Faulty Breaker, this is the good stuff. This is the stuff that only a prestigious company like Flavor Co. can afford. Without further ado, let's fire it up here. Is the audio coming through well for everybody? Both my voice and the uh, the lovely antivirus jingle. Fantastic. Oh, hi, Minna. Thanks for stopping by. After we're done with Susan, after we've cleared these bugs out of the system, expect your streams will go much smoother. Well, we bought this 20 years ago, so I don't know if we can return it at this point, so I really hope it works. But that's that's what long-term investing is all about. Help the gain on the mic a little. Oh man, no one's used this before. All right, let's see. We've got Gigamesh, Shadow Strike, Snap Tracks, and Techno Jaw. Uh, I think Mina's internet was the one having problems. We got to go with the blue one, the Gigamesh G60. And the Gate of Babylon might come in handy against Susan as well. Well, I've got faulty breaker. My my rig is actually kind of old. No, Daryl, they don't. They really don't. Oh, cool. It even comes with a tutorial for how to use it here.
Thank you, Super Freak. That is what we're here to do tonight, chat. We are here to fix problems and battle info crime. And get our talent's internet working. Thank goodness the account is no longer hacked. This isn't the real Susan yet. We're just in a tutorial here. Let's not goon this up. It's a really impressive user interface for antivirus software. You know, normally you gotta type all this code out, but I, you know, this, that's what makes this the good stuff. It's very, very friendly to space pirates such as myself that don't actually know how to code. And you can throw rocks at computer viruses, which is one of my favorite ways of dealing with tech when it misbehaves. Here we go. Lucky Monkey Tech Support. Security level one. So this guy can move one, attack one, so we'll be safe here. It's a very fair antivirus system. The hacker gets to take as many turns as you do. of the viruses and we made some money off of it too that's what you get for hacking the company oh, a fellow hacker we're gonna hack through level one all the way to the end so we find Susan I would like better programs. <sighs> well, 
Look, as much as I like this software, this is also clearly one of the earliest cases of paid DLC in an antivirus program, no less. But it also uses the in-program cryptocurrency, so it's, it's an interesting system. I would like another knife. like a combat engineer or two and we'll save our money all right lucky monkey farmhouse let's go clear the farmhouse house Right. Oh, they've got money hidden around this level too. And a dog. So the knife is one of the best programs right now. So I'm gonna take two. fast and he'll be able to attack that square so I'm gonna let him come to me delete that guy he will uh, he moves one attacks two yeah I'm safe right there Kill these guys too fast though, not until I've collected all of the money hidden here. Face tank a hit or two from this guy. That sweet, sweet cash will be worth it. As long as I keep moving, I won't die. I've got to get him to get out of the way. Uh, Sir Bellamore, welcome. It's, uh, I don't think it's a very widely known piece of software, but it is well beloved by those who know of it. Honestly, Lego, Lego did not need to go this far with this game, but it's super fun and 
until I found this uh, saved version of it through the Flashpoint project. I've been playing things like Into the Breach to try and scratch the same itch. Let's see if we turtle here. Can we draw him out? Or if I had something slightly less deadly that could just take one of his bits away, but if I attack him now I'll kill him and that'll end the mission. so we stay alive. Agreed, there were a lot of good LEGO games. The early 2000s just had a lot of a lot of good games being made in general, Macromedia Flash. I do have a uh, copy of the Matanui online game saved as well, I might break out sometime, but the, the Flashpoint project that preserved this software also has a ton of old games and videos saved. Extra business, they're trying, Spinner is trying to poach me from Kuriko already, but we'll hear him out. Oh, disabling security. Kuriko did Shanghai me into this position, so I will I will take the side gig. Oh, we gotta clear away over there first. So we got some money, so let's go and see what Leo has. Superman, we'll grab a data doctor. The bug. The bug is a glass cannon, which normally I'm all about in these kinds of games. But clearing out these earlier levels, I like having the knives. We'll, we'll grab one. Grab one for fun. Let's take this side gig. A clear cellular automata research. <laughs> now I got I got foreign voice acting for all of these as well. This really is the best antivirus software. Oh, I got four whole programs. Two eyeballs, two dogs, and a dude. Let's go. Knife. Knife. Bitman and some arty.
start guarding our flank. Move this guy up. Start cutting off their escape. Oh, I shouldn't have left him out there like that. programs are sturdy there's no permadeath here as long as you get out of the mission alive as long as you complete the mission your programs survive but that was a little sloppy no anyway. gotta move you to keep you alive Escape route. We want to create a bridge at this point. Susan, second super freak. Something weird is going on. I can find the biggest tip, the, 
biggest tip is all right let's go side gig Susan owns a lot of pit bulls. All right, let's go. Knives and garter flank with this guy. All right, the combat engineers are doing good work. Let's move you to heal up. Kill that guy. That guy. All right. You're good. Here, let's just start building Thermopylae. I have not heard of Master of Magic PC game. I 
I should do something with that money there. Come, doggo. That's right into my knife. Seal that flank up. You'll be fine. Bring it down here. Right, here we go. Now at this point we're just keeping that dog alive till we can take all of the money. How has everyone been enjoying all the flavor shenanigans? I'm surprised, very pleasantly surprised at how well it's been going for everybody. I think it's awesome that we've gotten some solid streamers out of it. Senna and Minair are killing it. Little man Rika are committed to the bit for now. Hello, Glaipson. It is the beer man, and actually, I just ran out of beer. So I'm going to need to find something else soon. How are you doing tonight? All right. All right, side gig completed. Don't tell management. Oh, apple juice does sound good. I guess we'll have to wait until we're in a battle to figure out what that does. Alright. Ooh, level 2 is unlocked there. It's still level 1. Level two, level one. Let's clear. Let's clear Susan out of level one first. Oh, good morning. Interesting. Thinking, kill the dogs and then keep the eyeball alive while I farm all the gold. You know, let's let's. Oh wait, what is yeah, what does clog do? Increases move rate. Okay. Not 
useful. Not for this one, I think. We'll go with the hack. Taking another Bitman would make this go faster. Oh, this is Spybot the Nightfall Incident. This was made as a tie-in for LEGO's Spy Spybotics line back in 2002. And it's for a for a construction toy tie-in game. They put a lot of work into it. I think there's four or five total levels, and the gameplay loop, I think, is really fun. Do I actually make my... No, so that... That is why I had to cross out Brewmaster on my profile. I am the Brew Taster. Uh, Milliard or Beercraft Senior, on the other hand, he made one of one of my top five beers as first attempt at home brewing. The secret is to screw it up. He was trying to roast the malts and he burned them instead. But the upshot was that you got this really unique smoky finish to uh, what was otherwise a lager. And it was, it was fantastic. My family drank like all 10 gallons that he made at a party, leaving all of the store-bought beer untouched. It was really good. And I wish I lived closer to home because I uh, can't wait to try what he's brewing next. Exactly. Happy little beer accidents. Yeah, we're just going to take one Bitman because I know he will eventually get the job done. And, and I need to kill those dogs quickly. insurance right there but I would like to try the home brewing at some point the uh, all of my hobbies one way or another tend to require equipment that takes up space and I'm rapidly running out of space to put equipment in so I think that one's gonna have to wait until I have a, uh, a proper garage or something to brew in However, some members of the family are experimenting with mead, which I think is going to come out really well. But for now, I remain merely the beer taster. Stay alive. Can I? 
that one will get up. Oh, nope. Friendly fire is not on. Can't do it to move faster. Ooh, kvass. I have never tried kvass before. Sour sweet taste. Is it sour sweet in like a, uh, like a citrus drink kind of way? Or sour sweet like sweet and sour sauce? Made from rye bread. Does it get the rye taste in there? This is the risky part. I need to make sure I don't let this guy die. Phaser only deletes two sectors though, so he should be okay. What happens if I delete this space here on? Oh, I wonder if it deleted from underneath them. It's been ages since I've booted this up. Can't remember quite how all the uh, those kind of mechanical interactions work. Actually, I might have some store-bought boss in the fridge. No AFK for a minute to check. Be right back. So this might be a terrible mistake because I'm pretty sure I bought both of these things at an international market last Christmas time. They're sealed though, and they're fermented, so I don't think they can go bad, right? Let's see if others kvass. We've got Bikel. That's not kvass. We've got, oh yeah, I think this is it. Water, sugar, syrup, kvass, wort, concentrate. All right, should we try the year old kvass?
looks like the Oh, only, only, oh, there we go. Is Dr. Lola May around? What does, what does she think of this? Either good or needs to be thrown out. Concentrate, yeah, this is canned stuff that I'm sure had to be made to survive shipment overseas. It's Smetonska. Gura... Bravoro Raganimo. What is the worst that could happen? There we go, we made the connection. Alright, Pitman, even if you die, we'll be okay. Is there a way to tell by smell if it's still good or not? Or is this going to be a taste it and find out kind of deal? Lingering paralysis. Natural kvass doesn't have a long shelf life. All right, so I'm in luck. This is definitely unnatural kvass. Since they've got sugar syrup, fructose glucose syrup, and it's from concentrate. Best before, see bottom of the can. Oh wait, hang on, here we go. Best before May 5th, 2022. So, you know, not too far past that, right? All right, we got all the money. We're stabbing the eyeball. That's a well, but that's a lot of extra money. I am reading you, but I'm also reading the Skavas label. The Skavas label has more information for me than you do. It really is a recommendation, isn't it? They have to put that on there. All right, let's let's see. Oop. Just don't drop the can. Just don't explode over the mic here. Well. Smells like something. What is it supposed to taste like? It tastes kind of like I don't actually know how it's supposed to taste when it's good, and I don't even know if this is from concentrate. I don't even know if it would taste good when it's good. I know. I think. I think it has been mixed with something. It's just from concentrate. Hmm. We'll sip at this a little and see. See what effects start kicking in. Oh, I need to access the file. That's why it starts me off with the auto bitman. Um, actually, the bug will be fine here because he's fast, but really. Yeah, this is fine throw the bug at.
I mean, look at that guy. Look at how fast he is. He doesn't get any bigger, so he, he dies instantly if anything touches him, but I suspect I can pull aggro with this guy. I don't know, I've heard the AI in this game is kind of dumb sometimes, which makes up for the fact that if you misclick on something, you can accidentally end your turn, so it's a balance. No, I won't. I won't let a little paralysis stop me from streaming. Didn't stop Stephen Hawking from streaming. It's the whole point of being a virtual YouTuber if I'm going to let my actual physical condition stop me. Bugman, you don't really have a lot to do now except I guess wait to cross over that corridor. Oh no, wait. Actually, if the mission doesn't end until I grab the files, I can actually kill this guy. Fantastic. Cyber Vikings are just waiting to cross. Exactly, Sir Bellamore. Hook me up to the Golden Throne and I'll keep streaming. Honestly, F's in the chat for Emperor Text to Speech Device. I never finished this series, but I'm disappointed it won't be completed. You need to bail out now, bud. his attack was stronger. Sorry, Bugman. Uh, he fell for it. There we go. I read part of Caiaphas Cain, just a couple chapters of the first book. I enjoyed what I read. Can't remember what I was doing at the time that I never completed it, but that's a bad habit of mine with books, though, is I'll have like five that I'm juggling and finish like one of them, maybe, and then forget about the rest, only to come back years later. I'm trying to be more deliberate now and finish one book before I start another. I had started doing a thing where I was trying to read one short story, one poem, and one essay every day. Stuck with that for about a week. It felt really good, so I want to get back into that. It's uh, honestly jumping, uh, getting sucked into this whole flavor thing has kept me much more online than I plan to be, but it's been a lot of fun, so I don't regret it.
Yeah, it just occurs to me. I'm not sure if you complete the mission if you're automatically awarded all of the credits on the screen or not, but I imagine you have to pick them all up. Otherwise, there'd be no point in trying to collect them because you're only going to complete the mission if you kill everything anyway. Hold on. Trying to connect. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't Super Freak. It's Minna. It's alright. We're here to fix your internet. Oh, crap program. Loosen the network. For a second, I thought it was 12. It, I mean... You're not far off. Alright, we got 32 minutes to save the world. Or at least Kuriko. Oh uh, yeah, I, I pencil whipped that part off the check-in sheet. I never actually went there. The ID shop was going to be closed anyway. Lucky Monkey Eastern Distribution Site. Ah, uh, of course, Kuriko's arch nemesis. Lucky Monkey Core. Well, the Kavas, I can see how it could be good when it's good. Ooh. Level 2 Sentinels. Much healthier. And more powerful. to use the bug but I think we're just gonna go double knives all right well I don't think I'm gonna let this ruin the reputation of it anymore for me oh maybe one more sip nope nope this is the bad part I'm starting to like the bad taste Not enough for him to... 
Oh, maybe the Dana Dock would have been good for this mission. Oh, actually. Keep that. I think you'll be okay. If they go for him, he's dead. He'll probably go for him. I think we'll be okay. Nope. Alright. I needed to cross that gap last turn. So what I need to do now is hit a target on myself. Winter Mutants, who are you? Sort of a hacker, I'd like to be one. I hope you don't mind that I've been checking out your radical runs, taking care of the Dr. Jonah problems. Oh, he's a flavor invader. Dr. Donut. Dr. Donut, wait a minute. I know who the donuts are. This is good. We will get to the bottom of the scuffed internet. get to the where's node first. Oh, much healthier. Still slow. Range two, delete two. Never bring an eyeball to a knife fight. You will be. No, because if they move, they'll heal. Thank you. 
Well, Thkvoss turned out to be a bit of a bust. We also have the Baikol. Which is a carbonated non-alcoholic beverage made with water, sugar, black tea, citric acid, cardamom, eucalyptus, lemon, caramel coloring, natural herb for flavors. This one's also about a year old. Aged like a fine wine, or a bicycle that I forgot to drink. Honestly, I didn't drink these right after I got them, and then I kind of put it off for a while because I was like, I have no idea if these are going to be any good or not. But now I suppose I won't really get an honest answer to that question. The moral of the story, I suppose, is drink the weird stuff when it's offered to you. Well, I don't think it's carbonated anymore. Hmm. It smells kind of like, uh. Oh, who makes it? There's really good spiced ginger beer I love. It smells kind of like that. trying to hold beverages and buying stuff. I will probably appreciate these utility programs more than I did the first time I played through this. Sumata 285. Welcome back, consumer. It's Network City, retailer for new future net technologies, software for the here and beyond. Can I be of assistance? Yeah, I'm gonna need this drink. Clearly stumbled into a Bugman City. This is the only way to kill the Bugman within. Oh, grandmother made kvot. Yeah, not nothing's gonna compare to grandma's. I will have to try making it at home. All right, slice and dice. Oh, that's fun. Golem deletes three whole sectors. Slow. Ooh. Nice. Oh, interesting. You can only do that if you are large enough. Wolf spider. Interesting. Kind of midway between new and old hack. That's not a telescope, that's a mortar. Immobile. Oh, these are all, these are fun. Medic. Oh, we've got quite a bit too. All right, let's. Let's try. Can we buy the place out? I think we can. You 
sell. Oh no, you can't sell old programs. Should have just enough. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can't can't save the donuts network. Just gotta clear this node and then we're on to the donuts. So the Baikal's not bad. It tastes like a sort of like ginger beer. Slow though. Eyeballs, cops, dogs. Good little police state in this node. I get five whole programs. Hmm. Like size five. Let's try. Start putting the tower there. This may be a dumb idea. I'm thinking we surround the tower so no one can get to it. Hopefully all the AIs just run up the tower and blow themselves up. Try the new hack out. Oh, have fun at work. Farewell, Sir Bellamore. Thank you for stopping by. Go forth to rise and grind. And well, shoot, it's almost midnight here too, so might uh, if we don't call it after this battle, we'll call it after we liberate the donuts Wi-Fi. Uh, let's see. Wolf spider out and uh, no, he's not going to do anything back there. We'll try some more already. Thank you. 
deleted. And that's the actual thing I need to kill, because those are the only things that can duel with the tapper. But I can't let this dog kill me either. I'm actually going to run away here first. Not the right time to attack yet. Turtling up the tower's been fun, but I don't think it actually bought me anything at the rate this battle's going. So now we're just gonna play keep away until I collect these credits. time slot on especially on a work weeknight is not really ideal I'm gonna see where else in my schedule I can open up to do this kind of stuff and I'm also I really don't want to ever like step on Pippa's time slot either and go in Santa's found a good niche being able to stream prior to Pippa which works really well uh, in my case I've got gremlins that don't always go to bed on time so it's much easier to do this if I can make sure they're all asleep although the uh, gremlin junior does really like watching some of these games problem is he tries to make he's smart enough now to try and make control inputs which isn't always bad um, he did help me beat a dark souls boss once so that was kind of fun But uh, he really likes to keyboard mash because he loves the sound of the mechanical keyboard. Alright, we got all the credits.
Boa Ventura. I'm just trying to help Kuriko. On the other hand, I cannot resist a good side gig. I think we'll make this Dr. Donut. I think we'll make this the final battle for tonight with Dr. Donut. We'll liberate the Donuts internet from Susan. That way nothing will stand in the way of that sweet, sweet mini karaoke next weekend. There you go. Oh, we got two high, two level two sentinels and a bunch of lower level ones. So oh, actually, this is fun. This is a good place for bug and wolf spider right there. Let's try the golem out. We haven't used him yet. And up here. Oh, I kind of want to plop the tower there and see if he pulls the AI towards himself. But you know what? Let's bring in. Eh, we'll try it. Let's see how the AI does. Also, are you guys enjoying this game? Is this the kind of thing you'd like to see more of? I, I have a preference for streaming turn-based games because if the gremlins do wake up and need assistance, it's real easy to, to drop it for a minute and come back. I'm glad you're finding it relaxing. I think uh, I think a more chill streaming style is uh, what I'm better suited for. I don't know. I tend to get so sucked into these games, I, I forget to talk to people. Unless I get on a topic that that I can go on and on and on about. Which, unfortunately, I'm not brewmaster yet, so I can't speak much to that. Um, if you guys would be interested, though, from the space pirate side of things, I could give one very long stream or several shorter streams on the, uh, the planning of a dropship born assault, if you'd be interested in that. All the way up from coordinating with your uh, your stormtroopers and your space pirates to 
execution of a piracy raid by dropship. I, uh, Joshua, I, I love this game, so I'm I'm very happy to share it. And uh, oh yeah, if anyone is looking where to get this sweet piece of software, uh, Blue Maxima's Flashpoint project, you can download a. Uh, oh, bug is gonna die, isn't he? If you Google uh, Blue Maxima Flashpoint project, you can download the simple version, which I have. So I think if you have like a terabyte hard drive lying around, you can download the entire library of all the Flash stuff they archived with the program. If you don't, you can download like a 2 gig file that's the launcher and then download individual games as you want them. They've got a ton of stuff. Uh, plenty of stuff I've never heard of. So I'll probably probably explore the Flashpoint library quite a bit with these streams. I'd love to do Slay the Spire, but so far every time I've tried it, it causes OBS to crash. And I do have some newer stuff like uh, Doom and I just downloaded Dusk, uh, which I could try, but... Even with Susan defeated, I don't know how much my internet can handle of something fancier. That tower is trying. I know this is late for a lot of guys, so a lot of you will probably be watching this on the VOD, so feel free to send off in the comments as well any suggestions or gameplay you'd like to see, or uh, other stream ideas you'd like to see. I should be able to get things set up to do some uh, Gunpla build streams or minis painting streams, which both very... Uh, Both hobbies of mine. Been doing minis painting since high school. Gun on and off since actually about when this game came out. There was the, uh, oh, we're finally in range. Yes. Yes. You just keep doing you, Golem. Uh, yeah, and Gundam from on and off, so. Actually, how, how old is everyone? So, if you remember, Gundam came over the U.S. with Gundam Wing and G-Fighter in, like, the late 90s. And so they brought all of the awesome action figures and model kits over with them. So it was a great time to be a kid. I didn't actually watch any of the shows back then, but I had a bunch of the model kits and action figures. And then it all dried up for quite a bit until, I don't know, I noticed it probably about six years ago. I'm sure it was a little earlier than that, but I've been out of that side of the hobby for a bit when everything started popping up in the stores again. See you, Zeno. Have a good one. No, I didn't actually get uh, didn't get back into it during the quarantine, which I know is what got a lot of people back into the hobby. Um, it was actually just last year when I started buying the kits again. All right, we did it. We cleared the donut node. We're still here. Oh man, we're dealing with a badass.
Welcome, Team Blue Plant. The 90s had some good stuff, Daryl. It was... Well, shoot, a lot of the anime was brought over by four kids, which... was not the greatest of localization options you had, but dang it, like... Even four kids One Piece was still compelling enough to, like, make me want to stay with the show when it got a good localization. this out here real quick all right dr. donut you've been saved menu and actually you know what no all right I just I hope this thing saves when I close it cool. find out Oh yes, 90s TV though. There was good stuff. The um, I really liked the Jackie Chan Adventure show they did. That was a fun bit of good, good solid pulp martial arts storytelling, and that thing ran for quite a few seasons and stayed pretty good the entire time. I don't think I saw it all the way to the end, but can't really remember a bad season of it. It wasn't until 2000s or so that good dubs appeared on South America. Actually, I had a question about that because I heard that the reason um, anime, like, you know, you see all the art with, like, Goku eating tacos and whatnot. I heard that it got super popular down there because you guys all got, like, better. TV infrastructure or something all installed at once and so suddenly there were all of these television companies that needed something to fill the airtime and so they just like en masse brought over all the anime they could actually funnily enough the first time I saw Verboni Kenshin we um parents had taken us we were able to get a vacation to Cancun this was actually like a couple months before that big um, hurricane hit it but we were watching the watching TV in the hotel and Samurai X came on Spanish dubbed I remember that was one of the things I remember more distinctly from that vacation there was also oh there were a ton of trailers for uh, one of Linkin Park's first albums. I can't remember which one. It had like a green robot on the front. I just remember the narrator was always like, uh, Linkin Park. Backed off the US here and got whatever went to Cartoon Network. Also, had a stepbrother who likes sailing the high seas for fan subs. Uh, fan subs and fan relations was, was probably about how I did half my manga to anime back in the day. We had a, our library was actually pretty good about picking stuff up when it came over to the US. Oh, okay, that's what I thought you had. Exploded all at once. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, you get you get the. Uh, well, I mean, hopefully, waiting a little, it 
sorted like the good stuff out from the the not so good stuff. I've actually almost finished this entire bottle of the Bichel, so this stuff tasted good despite being a year old, so hoping I don't regret this later. Blue Plant, what's your what was your favorite anime growing up? Daryl Lemonson, one or two channels ain't much nowadays, which was the world back then. I I know what you mean completely. We didn't have cable, so we had, if it wasn't on Fox Kids, Kids WB, only got to see it at Grandma's house. Which was stoked. There's, even with that limitation, there's quite a lot of good stuff that made it onto just normal broadcast television. Fighting Foodons, if anyone remembers that one, that one was that one was way more fun than it had any but any right to be for essentially being a Pokemon parody. Ah, uh, Robotech. I do not have quite as harsh an opinion of Harmony Gold as, as some people, although. It's been long enough, I think. It'd be nice to be able to just get my cross, my cross, an official localization at this point. Oh yeah, I can see even... Even slightly uh, chopped up and edited my cross would be better than Pokemon or DBZ. I never watched DBZ. Um... Really enjoyed Pokemon as a kid. All right, well, that is the last of the bike hole. It is indeed aged like a fine wine. And shoot, I'm I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. I'm, I'm glad you guys stopped by to chat. Watch me do some... IT work for Curico, but I do have my other 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 side gig in the morning. So I think the time has come to say goodnight to everybody. Um, thanks for stopping by. I was uh, wasn't sure how this stream was going to go, so I'm glad you all enjoyed it, found it comfy, and I do hope to keep doing more of this. Um, Especially when I can find the time. So probably probably aim for, for once a week now. Though I'm also always happy to do some guerrilla streams and just jump on when I'm gaming late at night anyway. So before I ramble too much more, uh, thank you all for coming. I look forward to the next time. For those of you at night time, good night. I hope you get good rest and for those in the morning uh enjoy enjoy your morning and have a a good work day all right take you all take you all to the ending screen please enjoy the music have a good night, everyone. Here's the story of Rhodesia, a land both fair and great, on the 11th of November, an independent
independent state This was much against the wishes of certain governments Whose leaders tried to break us down and make us all repent But we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land a free land, stop the enemy coming in We'll keep them north of the Zambezi to let rivers running dry this mighty land will prosper for Rhodesians never die. They can send their men to murder, and they can shout their words of hate. But the cost of keeping this land free can never be too great. For our men and boys are fighting for the things that they hold dear. And this land and all its people will never disappear, cause we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land a free land Stop the enemy coming in We'll keep them north of the Zambezi Till that river's running dry And this mighty land will prosper For Rhodesians never die We'll preserve this little nation for our children's children too Once you're a Rhodesian No other land will do We will stand tall in the sunshine With the truth upon our side And if we have to go alone We'll go alone with pride Cause we're all Rhodesians And we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land the free lands Of the enemy coming in We'll keep them north of us and easy that river's running dry And this mighty land will prosper For Asians never die Yes, we're all Rhodesians And we'll fight through thick and thin We'll keep our land a free land Stop the enemy coming in We'll keep them north of us and easy Till that river's running dry and this mighty land will prosper, for Rhodesians never die. Because we're all Rhodesians and we'll fight through thick and thin. We'll keep our land the free land, stop the enemy coming in. We'll keep them north of us and easy. That river's running dry And this mighty land